Asian cities face an increasingly diverse and less predictable range of shocks and stresses stemming from climate change impacts. This includes rising sea levels, more frequent and more severe storms. Prognosis show about 55% of Asia's population will be living in urban centers by 2030. Now, more than ever, building urban climate change resilience in Asian cities should be a priority. The Rockefeller Foundation launched the Asian Cities Climate Change Resilient Network in 2008. The initiative has worked with core cities to support them to prepare for and prevent urban crisis by building resilience. ACERN has worked with 19 global partners across Asia and the network keeps expanding. ACERN started with 10 cities in Vietnam, India, Indonesia, and Thailand. Now, the initiative expands to over 50 new cities and two additional countries, Bangladesh and the Philippines. Asian cities have been equipped to prepare for, take on, and prevent crises resulting from the convergence of climate change and rapid urbanization. They have adopted bold tactics and practical solutions that can be applied elsewhere. In India, Several collaborations between ESERN, local partners, and city government have built up the disaster response capacity and improved the quality of life. Indore Lake Restoration Project offered new approaches and innovative technologies to help restore water quality. More than 300 families now can rely on cleaner water for diverse purposes such as irrigation, fisheries, and domestic use. Surat's flood early warning system allows vulnerable populations to timely move to safer areas. This project has built up the disaster response capacity of local communities. Gorakpur Adaptive Peri Urban Culture has built resilience by helping farmers to diversify their livelihoods and become resourceful. The projects not only address the flood risks, but also respond to the other challenges. In Vietnam, City governments and local partners initiated resilience projects which are now being significantly scaled. The success of the Coastal Erosion Management Project has motivated the city government to replicate mangrove planting. A storm early warning system has improved the prediction of potential floods and storms with a greater certainty. In Indonesia, Planning and learning guidelines have informed national policymakers and helped cities to better respond to climate shock and stresses. This ASEAN project builds inclusive resilience by involving women and children as the agents of change to prevent danger. Mangrove ecotourism activities have strengthened the existing joint resilience effort by sustaining local people's livelihoods and minimize disaster risks. In Thailand, the private sector and local partners have joined hands to address disaster risks. They have successfully built urban resilience and strengthened local partnerships. Over 100 hotel operators have worked together to develop a strategy for the city to become more resilient to flooding, which is a major threat to local tourism. ACERN delivered a strategy that breaks the traditional bottlenecks and silos in planning, execution, and coordination of city projects which predominantly lack concerted efforts. This is a fresh approach that helps the cities to be able to manage the unavoidable and avoid the unmanageable. ASEAN's work is far from finished. We need to look ahead and continue working with city stakeholders to strengthen their climate resilience and better be prepared for future shocks and stresses amid rapid urbanization. Together, we can achieve resilience to improve the lives and the livelihoods of residents in more cities. Thank you for being part of ASERN and thank you for your continued help.